No, it's going to be a simple, it's a simple design, so. Alright, well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to a quick upload of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here, and thank you first and foremost for tuning in onto this. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe, and notification button. This way you're always going to be up to date on everything that I have. Um, I'm going to take a quick stop here for you guys in regards to the Yoshimura RS12 exhaust which is one of my favorite exhausts like don't get me wrong I really like the Yoshimura exhaust um, being that uh, we do ride with the adventure bikes here um, when we ride off-road we do have to have a spark arrester so um, Yoshimura has been always really good with adding spark arresters or dampers or or baffles or inserts and stuff like that uh, which make good top quality style but the problem is is the engineers whether if it's engineering or if it's uh, budget wise in regards to the company uh, trying to save money um, the fasteners that actually hold the spark arresters in um, especially on the RS12 series here you can see um, the, the carbon tip here there's a cutout underneath here which you might be hopefully you should be able to see with Sage being my cameraman there's the cutout there um, you have a tiny little screw okay back up it, the the spark arrestor comes with a tiny little screw which you're kind of balancing on an allen key and you're trying to get this into into the exhaust and if you mess up that screw as you're putting it up in through that hole on the carbon tip if it falls off it falls with inside this carbon tip inside here and to get that out it's a pain in the ass you would have to actually physically take off the whole exhaust and then dump it upside down just to try and get that screw out so this is what I fabricated here uh, basically it is a 50 mil length 5 mil by 1.0 zero thread pitch thread um, again it's a 50 in length and basically it comes with a knob and I got this off of Amazon it came as, as a pack of four I purchased it myself I added some spacers uh, which I will also throw the the pictures up as I'm explaining what I did so I inserted a couple of spacers put a bolt and then some heat shrink here so basically I made myself a quick accessible knob that I can actually fit inside here, align everything up. And as you can see, with one hand, no tools needed, I have now locked my spark arrester in place, which now allows me to go and use that RS12 with the spark arrester, which I think was the SK19K or something like that. Uh, don't quote me exactly on my words. I will definitely put the description up there or the information on it, but it allows me now to put my spark arrestor in and out whether if I'm on the road or off the road in the trail so there you go I've taken this out from my hand and now I've taken the spark arrestor out without any complications without even uh, you know taking a chance in losing the fastener that holds all this in place down inside the bloody exhaust so there you have it guys super simple super neat but guys you can build this yourself it's fairly simple so there you have it so again thanks for tuning in hopefully this has provided you guys with a little bit of inside information on what you can do in order to make your uh, Tenere 700 and certain products like the Yoshimura RS12 that much better so till next time guys be safe have fun take care don't forget keep it covered yeah and keep your shoes on yeah thank you Sage you're a good man you uh. do. Yeah.